Boom, we got a lot of stuff going on. SoFi is hitting the target. We're going to go over all stocks, SoFi new levels. We're going to go over Palantir new levels. Everything is kind of hitting a support level, just like Tesla hitting a support level. We got AMC kind of stuck between the range. We got the market pulling down. So we're going over a lot of stocks. We got Tattoo Chef in here, Rivian, Carvana, Lucid, and so much more. So just make sure you stay tuned. It'll be a long video. I'll try to keep it around 10 minutes, okay? But bear with me. If you guys want another video tomorrow, get this video over 100 likes as fast as possible i know you guys can do it you guys know i give you guys the best levels in the game get the video of 100 likes i appreciate it okay so first amc remember how it kept testing that resistance level there's nothing we can do in this range of amc because this is a stall out range we either needed to come down here and have fast reaction break or we actually need breakage above that resistance level and actually leave it you see how it hit it twice here once and twice but it never left that resistance level. We need that to go away, okay? So that's what I'm kind of looking out for AMC. It's very simple, and that's pretty much it. Now, let's go for SoFi stock. SoFi stock is pulling down, as you guys know. I think SoFi stock could have a nice run. When that run will start is the very key answer. But so far, we had resistance at $8 and support at $7.60. What did you see happen? Resistance ran all the way up there, only three cents away. From that resistance level this morning that happened uh today we started trending down where did it stop at right here at the support level i gave you guys at seven dollars sixty cents that was the stoppage so now sofi is also in a range you need to see does sofi break the support level tomorrow or does it start to trend back higher and come try to test that resistance level those the only two levels is still the same levels because you want to see which direction is going to break out of. They also have earnings at the end of August. I mean, October that could affect them. That will probably start that next move. It'll probably shift it, right? Because they move very big on earnings like they did here and it shifted it down. So with that next earnings, it's either going to shift it more down or it's going to start that higher run up. OK, so that's what I'm kind of expecting now for for SoFi. We can go over our Carvana. As you guys know, I had a price target of $60. I still believe Carvana can get up there. Don't forget to smash that like button. And the only play we did today actually was QQQ put options. That's the only play I did. You guys know I scalp in the morning to bring a consistent profit. You can see my four exits right there for about an 18% gain total. That was the only play I did today. I kept my profit. Make sure you join the team. All the links are uh, in the description below. Also watch the Tesla video before this one. I go over Tesla, my key levels, because let me go to Tesla real quick. All the levels I gave you guys for Tesla actually pretty much hit perfectly. We got that support that hit perfect, resistance that hit perfect. So if you want to know what I'm doing with Tesla, make sure you watch that video right before this one, okay? Now let's go back to Carvana. So I have a support level at $30. I had a resistance at $41. What happened? Price came up here, broke, came back and did what? Test resistance. Broke, came back and did what? Hit that resistance level perfect. Look at the high on your chart of October 10th. Look at the high of that candle. The high is 4101. My resistance level I gave you guys was 41. It hit perfect and it came down. This is why I say I try to give you guys the blessed levels in the game to try to help you out. Again, other financial advice, all educational purposes only. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing, what I'm looking at. But very perfect levels, right? So resistance hit and we got that pull down. New resistance now. I'm going to put resistance at about $34. So that's a new resistance. I won't be interested because what you got to know is when you see a stock crashing this low, this stock has to start breaking resistance levels for me to want to buy it, right? Just like how it had this pull down right here. Boo, 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 boo. Once it started going up here, it was breaking resistance levels in this area to give us a sign. Then it had that next road up. So I still believe Conrader can get up to that $60 mark. We just got to wait for that sign. We got to wait for the resistance levels to start breaking. So resistance 34, support at $30, okay? Boom. In phase, real quick. In phase is something I'm looking to start a long-term position on. I've been waiting for weeks. I've been telling you guys I'm waiting for in phase to hit $100. So far, everything is going perfect. I gave you guys a resistance level at 127. Where do you see resistance at? 127. It did not want to break that level, and it's starting to pull down. So, so far, everything is good. I think this will be a very big gainer. I got a price target of about 260 on the higher side. I think this stock is really going to start getting some room on the upside. That's about 160% gain when interest rates start to come down. So when the yields start coming down, I think this is when in-phase will really start getting that push. But so far, I'm still looking for that $100 in-phase level, okay? Now, Palantir stock, as you guys know, I did want to get Palantir today, but if you go down to the five-minute chart, Nothing really sensed like bullishness. Nothing was trying to go higher. So I got to wait, right? I have a support level at $17 right here. As you can tell, it hit that in the morning and it never wanted to break it. Kind of just stalled out. 
after hours is at that support level right now. So we're still going to leave that support level on. We're still going to leave that resistance level on. I'm still looking to buy it again. This is like a defense type stock first the war. So if you think the Israel, we already sent like 2000 US troops over there. So technically we're in war too, but this is like a defense play. So depending on how you think the war is going to go bad, Palantir is going to go up. Good. Palantir is going to go down. That's basically Palantir, but it's still the concurrent levels. And I'm still looking for that $16 level where I believe Palantir will go down to. Now let's go over Lucid stock. Nothing with Lucid. Okay. It is crashing. The only thing, right? The Lucid has earnings at the beginning of November. The only thing that will be beneficial to Lucid is if it can break $5, right? Right now, Lucid is a penny stock. L-C-I-D penny stock right now, okay? I don't want to buy it below a penny stock. I want it to break $5. Once it breaks $5, I will start looking to get in it and maybe get shares for a nice swing play. Nothing long-term, just a swing play. But $5 is really all I'm looking out for, right? Rivian. Rivian's about to hit my buying level like I told you guys. It's falling down. R-I-V-N. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. One of the followers up. Let's get over 10,000 followers. Make sure you watch the video before this on Tesla. That's a big video. My number one holding. The level's perfect on that one. But Rivian, $17. I told you guys it will go to $17, okay? Where do you see Rivian? $17. So what we got to do is let's adjust this resistance level to about $19 now. That's our new resistance level we need to be watching out for, okay? We need to break that to show bullishness right now. We're just very heavy on the downward side. And like I told you, if I was to invest anything other than Tesla, it would probably be Rivian because I see more Rivian and Lucid, honestly, on the road. But Rivian, it just has a better stock price than Lucid does, right? Lucid is literally breaking all time lows. So new resistance. I'm still looking at this buying level for tomorrow. I want to see how it activates. But so far, it's looking decent. It's kind of doing what I'm expecting. Let's go to Tattoo Chef. T-T-O-O. Oh, Can't do nothing with this. Take all your levels off. Not looking to play it. It's crashing too fast. Boom. That was easy. And then, okay, I think we went over all of them. Went over, we went over AMC, went over SoFi, Palantir, Tattoo Chef, Rivian, Lucid, uh, Tesla's in the previous video. We got to go over, okay, I think that's it. So any of the stocks you guys want me to go over, make sure you comment it down below. I read every comment and I'll try to add it in the next video. As long as you guys get this video over 100 likes. I know you could do it. Just smash that like button. Also, quick update on the SP500. Remember I told you guys it's going to drop. It's going to have pull down. We had resistance at 432. Where do you see SPY level hit today on the SP500? It hit the 42 level resistance twice. So if it's at a resistance level, what does that tell you? Price is about to go down. That's why I try to give you guys the levels. We're trying to help you in the market, trying to educate you the best way I can. And what did you get after that? Downward side. We actually profited. On the put play that I showed you guys this morning, we profited on that downside. So I'm trying to help you guys out. I've been making videos on stock market crashes. If you don't believe me, look, let's go back. Urgent stock market crash coming. This is urgent. Insane stock market crash coming. Urgent. The stock market crash is starting. Prepare. And now you see it. Okay. We're getting that now. So just be mindful of that. I will update you guys on a new support level real quick while I'm on here. I'll put it at about 426. So see how this 426 level acts for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll make a whole video on the SP500 of where I see it going. As you guys know, I, I'll have new targets. I'll have new levels and so forth. I'll make a bigger video on it and what actually is probably bringing down the market. So resistance 429, support 426, looking for that 414 to hit on the SP500. We made it under 10 minutes. Make sure you smash the like button, share the videos out, try to give you guys best levels, best content possible. And always remember, none of the virus. So anything, if you want me to teach you personally, make sure you email me right here. That's the only way to join personal training. Anything else, First links in those descriptions. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in that next one. Bye.